has been kind of a long time since I've been able to record a video in my studio. I've had family visiting and when family comes, um, the studio becomes the guest room. So I've been doing some fun things outside of the house, which hopefully you've been able to see if you're subscribed to my channel. But today I just want to do something just simple and a little bit chatty. Hi, and welcome to the book bar where everything bookish is on the menu. I'm Ann Jeanette Barr, and today I'm going to be doing the small booktuber tag. If you're unfamiliar with tags, it's just a fun way for people who are creating content on YouTube to um, do something that other YouTubers are also doing without having to come up with their own prompts for the conversation. I've seen this one floating around for a while. I think the um, first time I saw it was on Rosie's channel, Rosie at a Bookish Life, so I'll link her below. I'm not sure who to attribute the tag to. Sometimes you'll know the creator of the tag and you'll be able to put their channel, but I think this one's kind of older and maybe we've lost track of who came up with the questions. There are seven questions, or six if you um, do it the way I'm going to do it, uh, that I will answer, and I will put timestamps in the description below so that you can skip ahead to the ones that you're most interested in. But before I start answering questions, it's not the book bar without a drink. So today is just going to be one of my favorites, which is citrus ginger. I just spilled some on myself. It's compressed tea from um, Tea Drops. I hope that you guys have had a chance to try these. Um, if not, how cute are these? And you just put them in your hot water and um, let them sit for a little bit and then they make tea with the leaves and little bits that you can actually drink too. You don't have to discard that. So I really love this one. The citrus ginger is my favorite. I always have a link for a discount in the description below. Okay, let's get to the questions. Question number one is introduce yourself or prompt number one. I guess it's not technically a question, is it? Um, so I said, my name is Anjanette Barr. Um, I live in Alaska, Juneau, Alaska to be specific. And let's see. Um, Rosie said her age, which empowered me to say my age, even though I'm much older than her. <laughs> I just turned 38. I have four children, and my husband and I have lived here for about nine years, but I'm from the Midwest. So um, let's see, I homeschool our children during the day, so that takes up the majority of my kind of work time, but I'm also um, employed in publishing in various ways. Um, I'm a writer and I'm working for an editing and design company as kind of customer service. And eventually, someday, hopefully not in the too uh, distant future, I would love to be a literary agent. So I am working toward that by taking um, some online classes and just trying to network and eventually get a role in that side of publishing. But you know what, every aspect of publishing um, fascinates me including just reading, obviously, being a consumer of literature, um, talking about it on YouTube uh, is a hobby, but um, certainly could be uh, something that I would consider a, a job as well in the future, because I think I will just always love being on BookTube. Um, and I do several other things that are just bits and pieces here and there. I've done some developmental editing for people. Um, but I would say Books are a big part of my life, so that's pretty much what is relevant to um, BookTube. Oh, I guess it's interesting that I have chickens and cats and a dog, and um, I've promised my husband that that's where it will stop. Question two is, how long have you been on BookTube? Um, I started this channel in January of this year, so I have not been on BookTube for quite a year yet. This is the end of October. Give this a stir. Mmm, I can smell the ginger. Question three is what types of videos do you make? Um, I've tried a lot of different um, video styles thus far. It's been really fun to figure out um, kind of my niche where I fit in booktube and what I'm good at and what I enjoy because Certainly one of the most fun things about booktube is that you don't have to be a professional by any means in 
making videos, editing videos, it doesn't matter. It's just a fun place to be. So I really appreciate the freedom to just play around and kind of do whatever I want to do. So I have done a few vlogs, video vlogs. Sounds weird to say it like that. Um, especially recently when I didn't have use of my studio. Um, I've only done a few tags like this one, but I'll do more. It really is convenient to have um, a kind of a template for a video when you're itching to record, but you don't have time to come up with something else creative. But I think that the heart of what I'd like to do here is book reviews and um, kind of book list recommendations. Uh, I really love to talk about books and my friends generally ask me for advice on what to read or if I read something or which authors on a certain subject they should check out. So I really love that. I love talking about books and sharing books that I love with other people. So I think the heart of this channel will definitely be um, reviews and just lists of recommendations. Question four is, what do you love about BookTube? Well, I've said a few things already. Um, I love that it's a welcoming community and that there's all types and ages and interests represented on BookTube. Um, I follow channels from people who are about as different from me as you can possibly get, and I found a lot of people who could be my, you know, sister. <laughs> so um, I just think it's really cool how literature can bring us all together and that on BookTube there's no real qualifications, there's no real disqualifications. Um, just think that that's lovely. Um, I love finding out about new books on BookTube. Um, it's definitely stretched me. Getting to know other BookTubers uh, and watching their videos to support them has meant that I've learned about genres and subgenres and types of books that I wouldn't have been exposed to otherwise, even though I'm a pretty eclectic reader. And then I've just enjoyed um, seeing the community in the comments and joining in uh, on those comments with other people watching videos. And I did that for a, a while before I started my BookTube channel. And I think that I'll always be part of BookTube, whether it's as a video creator or just someone watching. Okay, question five is what type of books do you read? Well, I said I was an eclectic reader and I am. Uh, I definitely have some genres that I gravitate toward more than others, but I don't think there are very many genres that I would say I'm, I'm not a reader of or I couldn't be a reader of. Um, I do love uh, older literature. I like uh, classics and some modern classics, things that were you know, written before I was born but have become kind of canon in um, what we think of as classics like To Kill a Mockingbird. It's not really that old, but we still think of it as a classic. But I really like um, books that are much older than that as well. I'll link above the video that I made about my favorite books of all time so far. And most of those are older. Most of those are older classics, but there are some newer ones thrown in. Um, I'd say my favorite genres are fantasy and magical realism. Magical realism is kind of like light fantasy. It, it has some usually contemporary or it could, I guess it could be historical too. It definitely could be now that I'm thinking through my favorites. Um, but on the surface, it just seems like uh, maybe general fiction or literary fiction. And then some kind of twisty things happen in it that are maybe a little bit supernatural. So I like that, but I do love fantasy um, in general. And um, oh, I guess I kind of gravitate toward epic or high fantasy, but I really enjoy a lot, a lot of different fantasy. I do read historical fiction. Um, I like historical fiction that has some other kind of subgenre element to it, like historical fiction romance. Sometimes it just depends on the time period, I guess. Um, and um, historical fiction like mystery or suspense, um, those would be fun. Historical fiction fantasy is actually a thing, and I love uh, that. I think. Um, here I am making a recommendation. Stephen Lawhead is uh, an author that kind of blends genres between historical fiction and fantasy and magical realism. Um, and he's a good example of the types of books that I like that sometimes are hard to categorize. I do read quite a bit of nonfiction as well, especially in narrative nonfiction. I uh, gravitate more toward biography than memoir, but I really enjoy some memoirs and some just informational books written with a narrative style, um, especially science topics. Question number six is, what is your favorite video that you've made? So I'm actually going to have to look through my videos to answer this question because I can't think of one that just comes 
up immediately. Gosh, it's really hard to choose because I just really enjoy making videos. Um, I think that at the top of my list are my um, book reviews, not because I say anything particularly insightful, but because I love the outlet of being able to um, come back and uh, talk about a book that I've just read. I think one of my, how about this, my most unappreciated favorite video is my Rebecca review, which I was thinking about today when I put this dress on because I'm wearing this outfit in the video and it hasn't gotten very many likes, but I remember um, just having being so excited to record that video because I was floored by that book and it was really cool that I had some place to talk about it. So I'll say that's my favorite, but I've really had a ton of fun and some of my favorite recording experiences have surprised me. Like I've done a few videos where I'm not even on camera, I'm just journaling or things like that and that was just really fun and meditative to edit. So um, please do check out the rest of my channel. I would love to know what your favorite video of mine is. And prompt number seven is who are your favorite small booktubers, or it's actually tag some of your favorite small booktubers. And um, there's a little clause in there that says, or you can just list all of the small booktubers that you know. So I think what I'm going to do for that is in the description below, I'm going to just throw in a lot of my favorite small booktubers that I would love for you to discover and probably keep adding to that list as I find more. So if you have a small booktuber that you enjoy, and obviously small is completely relative, so whatever you think of as small in the YouTube world, um, list it below so that we can all find each other and find new booktubers. If you are a small booktuber, do the same, please. Link, leave a link in um, the comments and I will be filling up that description box with all of the ones that I like. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future videos. I've got some really fun things planned.